a federal investigation into allegations of money laundering, revelations of links to criminal gangs. But Crown says it's just... Historical shortcomings. I don't um, accept that uh, there have been shocking revelations. I think there's certainly been some identification of um, historical shortcomings. At its annual general meeting, our biggest gambling company needed the vote of heavyweight shareholder James Packer to stop directors being turfed out. A New South Wales inquiry suggests Mr Packer may have to divest his stake and might not be there to save them next year. I understand the vote on these resolutions reflects shortcomings, dissatisfaction with the performance of the board and the company. A first strike against how directors are paid would see the board booted if it's repeated next year. We need to see action, not just words, and the actions themselves are going to take longer than what happened today. Former chair Robert Rankin has been referred to regulator ASIC for breaching director's duties. He's refused to answer the questions of an inquiry. Crown's also torn up a deal that let Mr Packer's company get confidential information. Ken Barton didn't tell the truth about that deal at last year's meeting. He's been promoted. It was never my intention to mislead or provide a non-answer in response to this question. The New South Wales inquiry is working out if Crown should get a licence for the $2.2 billion casino it hasn't even opened yet. Meanwhile, its flagship casino behind me has been shut since July. The House always wins, but the odds are tighter this year.